Okay guys, so I know I said I was playing Wednesday off camera, but I really quickly wanted to show you guys Marie is getting promoted today, so I just, I wanted that to be in the video because it is part of the, you know, um, the challenge is getting promoted. So she made 378 simoleons, got promoted to useless contraption manipulator, got a bonus of 864. She works the same hours, 9 to 230, makes 84 simoleons per hour, and works all the same days, Monday through Friday. Okay, uh, bye. I'll see you guys when I actually film this part. Well, good official morning, everybody. It is Thursday. It is spooky day. Um, we're supposed to have the day off, but it says we're gonna go to work, so... I guess we'll just kind of see what happens, um, but yeah, it's spooky day. Um, Marie is up. She is going to be making her... Okay, there we go. Now it says we don't have to go to work. She's going to be making herself some breakfast, and we're not going to throw a party, but we are going to head to the fall festival, um, invite some friends out. She has, you know, a couple co-workers, a couple non-co-workers that can become her... Hell no, absolutely not. We're aging him back down to a toddler because he was literally a baby yesterday. Um, this is Lydia's child. Also, off camera, I did show you guys that Marie got a promotion yesterday, but off camera, Lydia and Juan decided to get married and they, oh my God, they are expecting their next baby. So super exciting. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to see if Gene is home and I'm going to force him to age down because it's just so, like, I wish the aging, like, I, oh my god, sorry. I wish Sims not in your household would just freaking age normally because there's nothing more annoying. You were literally a baby yesterday. Like, literally, you were a baby yesterday, so he's going back to being a toddler. But they are expecting another baby, so super exciting. Love to see it. Okay, so I aged him back down to a toddler. He is a little messed up right now. Um, and then I also changed his name to Gavin, just because I like that name better than Jean. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's jump back to Marie. She's making herself some pancakes. And with our promotion last night, we actually, or yesterday, not last night, we actually do need handiness skill as well. So it's a good thing that, for whatever reason, she wanted to work on her handiness earlier. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab something to eat, and then we're going to chat with Lydia on the phone, just because um, ch chatting with her is one thing that we really want to do. <clears throat> And I'm trying to see if I can, like, force them to be BFFs, but I think um, Scout might have to be an adult for that. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay. But we're just going to clean up the house a little bit, chat with Lydia, and then we're going to head to the Fall Festival. Maybe we'll look for some... Um, We'll look for some flowers. We'll invite some friends out, that kind of thing. And then before we go... Let's give Scout some attention. So we'll feed him a treat, we'll talk to him, and then we're gonna pick him up so we can, you know, give him smoochies and a proper hug and all that fun stuff. So let's use the bathroom really quickly. Scout loves running around, he's a psycho. Um, a sim fest has started at Olander Bar and Grill. Good to know, we're going to the festival anyways. <laughs> Like, I do not care. We're going to the festival. All right. So we're giving Scout some attention. Um, let's hug him, give him smoochies, give him a pet, and then we'll put him down. I want some pictures. Look at the way that Scout is looking at her. Literally, he's so in love. Oh, my God. Literally obsessed with these two. <clears throat> Literally obsessed. You don't understand. Give him smoochies. Oh, you do not understand. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, anyways, we definitely... <coughs> excuse me. I definitely plan on her getting another puppy as well, but I want there to be like a slight gap. Scout is going to be an adult tomorrow, which will happen in the next part. Um, and then we will... Um, we will, uh, oh my god, sorry, my cat's being so loud. 
Um, we'll get another puppy shortly after he ages up, basically. Um, so we're going to have two dogs. We're going to invite Lydia out, and then when we get there, we'll also invite Louis and Justine and Juan. Um, I think we're going to wait and kind of get to know our other two co-workers at work first, and then we'll become, like, out of friends, or out of, out of friends, out of work friends. Also, I know I did mention to you guys that I was going to create a sim for her to be with romantically. I have not created that sim yet, so it'll just be, um probably in a part or two before I actually make that. Also, this seems so pointless because with the amount of time it takes her for the taxi to stop, get out, walk over here, teleport here, walk over and get back in a taxi, she literally could have just taken the taxi from freaking here to here. It would have taken the same amount of time. Like, I 100% believe that. Also, I probably should have just teleported her here because it's probably going to take her like a full three hours to get here. We left at noon. Oh my god. That's the haunted house. Um, I don't know if you guys heard that because I do have the game volume pretty low, but it just made like the creepiest noise and it took me a second to realize like, nah girl, that was just the haunted house. You're good. But there's Lydia. She's so cute. She is in fact pregnant again, even though she might not look it. God, I love her so freaking much. Are you here yet? Hurry up. Okay. You're on the lot. Just relax. Can I give her a hug? I want to just walk over and hug her. I can't. Well, let's go ask her about her day. Let's thank her for the promotion. Um, <clears throat> make promise to protect her. I saw friendly hug. Where'd it go? Well, apparently we can't do it anymore. Girl, just go get your friend, okay? Stop. Oh my god. Ignore the phone call. It's our bestie! Oh my gosh, I love her. Okay, she wants to carve a pumpkin, take a greeting card photo. We'll definitely do both of those. Um, let's give her a friendly hug and then take our greeting card photo. Take photo with Lydia. And then... We got paid for our time off. We are not going to China, girl. I'm sorry. This is not um, an adventure one. Um, okay, let's invite a couple people over. And I know I've said this before, but I just like to reiterate. When you invite over, but you're on a public lot, that invites them to the lot that you are at. So just want to throw that out there. Um, while we wait for people to arrive, we'll just go ahead and pick some flowers. There is a lot here. Like I said, sorry, I don't feel like it. Okay, rude. Okay, Lewis is coming. And Juan is at work, which is a lie because it's the, um, whatever this is called. What is this called? What is this called? Oh my God. What is this freaking called, you guys? Spooky day. Oh my gosh, what is freaking wrong with me? Okay. So we're gonna go chat with Lewis. Um, let's see how much money we made out of that. Not very much. We are only 500 away from being worth 25,000 though, so that's cool. So let's ask about his gender preference, ask about his age, discuss matters of etiquette. Let's have a nice chat with him, get to know him, tell him a funny story. Um, just be all kinds of funny. You know, like I said, I don't necessarily want them to be in a relationship just because he is married. Oh my God, sorry. My boyfriend is so loud and it, might, it made my dog freak out. Anyways, um, he is married, so I don't want them to date or anything, but I definitely see them being like flirty flirty. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, let's see. Buy something worth 500, earn a raise. We'll definitely lock all this in. But I want to chat with him a little bit and then go through the haunted house. Is Lydia still here? She is. We'll go through the haunted house and then depending on if they're still here, we'll enter the apple bobbing contest with both of them. I think that would be super cool. Um, and then we'll get a pumpkin so we can carve the pumpkin. We'll get a few more... Um, a few more flowers so we can make just a little bit more money and decorate our apartment a little bit. We are getting a little chilly. Oh my gosh. 
there's so many literally right here can i not pick the daisy pick the blue whatever pick the azazel sweet williams and the indiana or indian or whatever the hell it was okay so you can actually become a ghost when you come out of these it's kind of funny um attacked by the mummy wow that mummy takes his job very seriously it'll take a little while for marie to shake that off all right so we're gonna grab these few really really quickly no they're doing it without us you guys are doing another one with me like i don't know who you think you are come over here and watch okay and then really quickly i'm gonna sell those and hopefully we'll reach um so why is that not like okay i had to just on pause that's why um all right we'll lo lock in earn a raise i cannot speak today all right where's the pumpkins over here i guess we'll come over here and harvest a pumpkin really quick while we wait for them to finish their apple bobbing contest and then you guys are the contest is come back in a few hours are you kidding me that is so rude. All right, girl, you literally just need a singular pumpkin. Come on. Okay, perfect. You've got your pumpkin. Um, let's come over here and chat with Lewis a little bit more. We are pretty close to becoming his friend. Um, so I definitely want to become friends with him. And we'll carve the pumpkin maybe when we get home. I haven't really decided. Let's go ahead and ignore that call. I just want them to... I feel like they were way higher than that. I don't know. I just want them to chat until they become friends, basically. Come on. I feel like you're literally right there. Like, I feel like, oh my gosh, and she's so close to getting the, being able to get long distance friend. Um, let's get to know him. Don't be mean to him. Tell him another funny story. Girl, they're fake. Kaya, stop it. Just stop. Oh, she's so cold. We're going to have to go home. Can you guys just become friends, please? I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. Well, you know what? Okay. Literally perfect. They had... Oh, my God. I cannot with this dog. They... What am I trying to say? They had a great group outing, and they became friends, which is, like, exactly what I wanted. So, instead of going home, I'm going to have her eat at the diner. We're going to take both of them and see if they'll come with i highly doubt they'll both come with but we're gonna go to the diner with all three of them um and then she'll come home maybe carve her pumpkin put it out do the cutesy stuff um but mr scout you need to freaking take care of yourself go to the bathroom go chew go eat all that fun stuff she wants to kiss him. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we will. Like I said, he is married. Maybe if he, like, for whatever reason, ends up not married at some point, we will. But um, that's interesting. She's, like, romantically interested in him. Good to know. We're going to stay for dessert. She does have to work tomorrow, but... Oh, excuse me. It's a Friday. So I'm not too worried about her... Um, you know, she can slack off at work, basically. It's a Friday, you know. Um, just ate at a restaurant. She'll never forget. You do need just, like, a little bit more social. Your tired is not very low, so I'm not too worried about that. Do not... No, I literally just said you're... Did that say 6 a.m.? Oh, I guess it is 12.30. Um, maybe you would sleep till 6. Honestly, who knows? I cannot believe she wants to kiss him. What a floozy. What a freaking floozy. Stay up. I want her to give you some attention when she gets home. All right, come on. This has been going on long enough. That is so cute that they can chase their tail. I wish you could tell the dog to chase his tail because I want to see that every second of every day. Okay, feed him a treat and then pet him. And then we're going to carve a silly one i just that's i feel like that's what she would do she would do silly 
I'm not going to lock in the kissing him. I will lock in becoming good friends with him because I definitely could see her doing that. But I'm not going to lock in the kiss just because I don't want to, like, you know, ruin every anything. So we are going to, um, after she carves her pumpkin, go take care of her needs. And then probably head off to bed because she's not going to get to bed till probably 5 a.m. is my guess. Oh, poor baby. Go sleep after you chew on that. I know, I know, you're so tired and you're stinky. Um, absolutely not. Continue. Oh, this bitch. All right, she's going straight to bed. I'm going to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I will see you guys in the next part, actually. It's going to, I'm going to pick up Friday when she gets off of work and I'll play the rest of the day Friday, Saturday, and then potentially Sunday. We'll just see how long the part is. I know this one was a little bit short, but I am definitely, before I film the next part, going to create her future husband. So that is someone you'll be meeting in the next part, which is super, super exciting. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, let me know with a thumbs up, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.